okay so so for for the uh, it will not be that the charges will be equal but yes they will be distributed and si since that rod was positively charged this conductor will also become positively charged fine now if it was a negatively charged rod it means it means it has an excess of electrons and if it touches the other conductor say a rod what happens if it touches this rod this excess will 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 some of it will pass on to this so this will become less negatively charged this will become more negatively charged till again again that flow stops fine fine so either and and again what is happening it is only the electrons which are flowing right it is not some positive charge which is which is flowing this has to be kept ex very very clear <coughs> this thing has to be kept very very clear in your mind right so so what happens even in this it was the electrons which 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 went from this conductor to the rod here it was again the electron which came from from abundant to the deficient so not enough electrons went there to make it negatively charged to to, to this this, <coughs> this? Mm. but it's still positive no people. because that will mean if if so many electrons you are asking that means not enough electron electrons went here to make it positively charged if so many electrons go here to make it make it sorry negatively charged so so many electrons if they transfer from here to make this negatively charged so that will become hugely positively charged okay now a positively charged thing so 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 it is like this that this is a this, this is a positive charge and this has become negatively charged immediately that flow will be back no it cannot go to that extreme because that's an unstable situation mm -hmm. if an excess travels to this it will flow back so from okay. abundant yes from abundant to the deficient that that flow starts back so it will never so happen it will never so happen that both of them become neutral it will never so happen that one of them becomes negatively charged never both will remain whatever charge was on the rod understand okay now if you have understood this phenomena we can come to earthing okay the earth is considered a huge source as well as sink of the electrons huge huge source as well as a sink okay so what happens if if i connect say a positively charged rod to the earth let us try to understand that this you have understood so i'm i'm raising it say if there is a positively charged sphere let us say huge positive charge a lot of positive charge okay insulated now what happens you denote the earth as either this or this earthing is an art in itself here you take a copper plate weld a rod to it 
This copper plate is sunk, say some 10 feet beneath the ground. Coal and salt is put around it. Okay. And, and water is put in it. Okay, so that this, this surface becomes conducting and whatever excess electrons or deficient electrons are there that is supplied by the earth. So, so all this paraphernalia is, is represented like this. Okay. So, if there is a connection like this and, and you switch it on, okay, you put the switch on, then earth has that much capacity, that huge capacity to supply <coughs> all the electrons which are deficient in this. So, what will earth do? It will supply all till this becomes neutral. This becomes neutral. Okay, what happens if it had a huge amount of excess charge, excess electrons, so that it was in the net negatively charged? What will happen? So, so Earth has that capacity that if you switch it on, They'll keep on moving. All the excess will have moved into the earth till it becomes neutral. So what does earth do? Any excess charge, any excess electron it is able to drain, any deficient electrons it is able to supply in the full. Okay? So the earth can supply the deficient electrons or sink the excess electrons in the full. It can supply or it can take both. That is the reason, that is the reason you are, you are doing what? You are earthing your equipments. Hmm? So, so there is electric supply to your say iron. This is an iron. Okay. This is an iron and, and you have plug and, and, and suppose this metal body suddenly suddenly gets gets connected to the live wire. So, so there is a plug here which has a live wire and a and a neutral wire, right? Now somehow if this touches this metal body, then what happens? This also develops that that it, it comes at the same voltage 220 volt so if, if you touch it it will be fatal you'll get a shock big shock now what we do so what we do from here this body we we bring here I'm not shorting this okay we bring here and earth it so what happens whatever is coming here it is flowing back to the earth so if you touch it, you will not get that shock. That is the whole reason. So yes, earth is capable of taking a huge amount of current. It is capable of supplying a huge amount of current. Okay. Because it is both a source and sink. Is there a on the wire in more to more from the if this wire, yes. If, if this is broken, suppose, suppose it is not there, if there is a very high resistance or, or, or say, say, say that is not watered inside, then what happens? It will find a path through you and you will get a shock. Okay? So that is what earthing is capable of doing. Okay? So why not use electricity from earth instead of making, generating electricity? How, how will you use that? You said that it is capable of supplying... It is, but then you will have to create that potential difference, no? 
you'll have to create that excess or deficiency. That will require energy on your part. It will become the same in the end. It's not that the earth is there, you connect a wire and start supplying. Otherwise, what would have happened? You are standing and you will get charged. You do not. You have to create an excess or a, or a deficiency. Either you have to create an abundance or a deficiency for the current to flow. Correct? Fine. Now we come to that, that topic, whether, whether I could charge a single sphere instead of these two spheres with a charged rod. So if I have a charged rod positively charged, positively charged, then the same thing will happen with the with the sphere <coughs> so many negative charges here so many positive charges here and suddenly what will happen there'll be a now what you do what you do you momentarily short it you momentarily short it so what happens some electron would have flown here and will neutralize it and then you take it off then you take it off you switch it off because what happens the moment this gets neutralized immediately it will sense that there is an excess and the current will flow back due to this 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 charge here this part it sensed was deficient so it will supply some electrons make it neutral you just remove it now what happens What happens? No, no, no. It will first see the deficiency. It will first see this deficiency. So what happens? This gets, this gets charged and the moment you remove this, this rod and, and, and this is switched off. So this, this excess. Now there is an excess of electron. Why? Because that excess has been supplied by the earth how earlier it was neutral try to think try to think earlier it was neutral it supplied some sensing that there is a deficiency here it supplied some electrons so what happened the sphere became had excess of electrons okay it had excess of electrons and the moment you removed this and, and you removed the rod it became uniformly negatively charged the same kind of thing you can do for charging it positively. So what will happen? What will happen with a with a rod with a rod? It will be kind of this. And, and, and this becomes negatively charged. If someone says, I want this to get in the net negatively charged, what do you do? Negatively charged. No, positively charged, sorry. Positively charged. So what happens? I'll, I'll earth at this end so that these electrons will flow, flow like that. And then I'll switch it off. So what happens? This becomes neutral. I have in the net taken away the electrons from the sphere. Have I not? So what happens? The moment you remove the rod, you remove that earthing. That means if this is switched off. And this. This is an insulated stand on which the sphere is standing. Insulation, no? you need to provide with some stand. So that charging by induction is also possible with one sphere. Okay? Fine. 